What's going on guys, it's Derek here with another post my channel, Dell Garage Production. Today I just got going on as the rear brakes for this Monster Tribute right here. Uh, it's drums and shoes. Kind of hate drums and shoes. Don't like working on them. Rotors and pads are a heck of a lot easier. Um, I actually got those in the box right here. Two boxes. Um, tires already off. I actually did the front brakes there a couple days ago. A couple days ago. Didn't really record it. Fronts are done. Backs are off. Oh god, my recording is bad today. So I'll show you guys the front rear real quick. I don't know if you guys can see the new, sh new rotor and stuff. Um, I got all new drums and shoes, all the hardware, all that fun stuff. Just to, I hate working with the screws on these things. It's terrible. So if anybody likes working on them, enjoy working on them because I'm only going to be doing them on my own vehicles. I was also taught to do the brakes in the back if you're ever doing drums and shoes is open one side and as you're doing the other side you can just like you know use this side as a whole referral to go and do the other side so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing um so like I said shoes and drums I've already done the wheel bearings this one's a little rusty already I don't know why Brex is a little bit of water condensation. The other side's still fresh and clean. It's because I think I had this one out. So, by accident. But yeah, so we'll get to that. And then you can see my crappy welding jobs. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's get into this. Okay, guys, so driver's side is actually all done. Uh, new brakes. They actually gave me a new spring. All the new springs, everything pretty much you need. And I did say that they might not give you this, but they did. They actually gave me that. So it's pretty much like a U locking clamp, just so that, you know, it's like a sliding pin kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I am gonna show you guys. They even gave me the one. And when you do guys do this one, make sure it goes in the back. I just remember to look at what you're doing while you're doing it. Um, I will be showing you guys the other side. So I just wanna do this side to make sure I actually did it right. And I did it right. Uh, this isn't leaking. Usually when these leak on the side or anything like that, can replace them uh i do do have them but i just don't have the time right now to do it because i just don't have time to bleed it and all that stuff I have to go get brake fluid so i will be doing that it's just they do work the brakes are working but they're just pretty bad i showed you guys take off the springs let me show you what they look like oh, i don't know if that was that one no this one's pretty meaty where's this one this one down here it was on this side okay and you can kind of see that it's like thick oh god bad camera angles it was like thick and it kind of like thins itself out a little bit oh this one right here this is like pretty much brand new as you can tell so old old and new old and new pretty thin there's a difference. So I'm glad with that. It's all cheap. Okay, guys. Uh, as you can tell, this side needs to be done. I'm actually just going to show you what I need to do. So you take out these two pins. Take out these two pins, one on each side. This is what I started with. And undo this, the one spring that goes to this side right here. And once you pretty much undo that, you can take that off, the whole brake shoe and then there's a spring down here that you undo and it pretty much that one falls down you can make it fall down if you really want to and then after you do that side um you got this little u locking clamp there like u pin you undo that and that goes to the e-brake mechanism you don't have to undo the e-brake um cable down here uh, i've seen a lot of people do that my even on YouTube, I've seen a lot of people do it this way, but I was also taught not to do it that way. You don't have to. Your brake's not broken. Don't take it apart. So, I'm going to set this camera up, and I'll quickly take apart and kind of explain everything as I go. And clean it up at the same time. And to be sure, you really don't need much tools to actually get this job done. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, it's pretty much like a... I don't even know why I brought the screwdriver. You don't need a screwdriver. You just need a pair of pliers, vice grips, and... Oh yeah, sorry, you do need a screwdriver. So you get that, uh, 
that uh, one pin out, U pin. So what I'm gonna start with, like I said, I'm gonna start with these. That's another reason why I grab screwdrivers. I like to push on it and then turn. I actually bought, while I was doing the rear end here, I actually had to buy, oh, where are you, come on out. I had to buy some of these because I bought a kit, like a rear drum kit, just because this was so rotted, the silver pin was so rotted, it snapped and you clearly can't drive without brakes, so I had to go and get one. So I could test the rear end out after fixing it. Damn. That's two. Just leave that over there. They're still brand new. That means I'm going to have extras, but I actually got a rear drum kit. And again, here's that new one. I know they didn't, they didn't supply it, but I got all my new stuff in the box there. No fun stuff. <clears throat> oh, look at that. I did it. Not the right way to do it, but I did it. Oh. There goes that. The shoe. That's the inside shoe, if you want to call that the inside shoe to the body. Uh... Okay, well that was pretty easy. So that just pretty much like comes apart as you guys can see. I did not take that one pin off yet, so I'll be doing that right now. And if you guys don't get the right brake, uh, the right brake kit, you may not get these, so do keep them. You just never know. Never ever ever know. So the tricky part is when you get this all apart, there's a little thing back here. Uh -uh. Got the spring. They both have springs on them. To be honest, I'm not really showing exactly how it looks because I kinda kinda remember. But it's just because I remember. Alright. And don't get me wrong, you guys will see me struggle putting this all back together as <laughs> it was a fight. So there's the other side. And then look at that, guys. Your e-brake mechanism just hangs there. You didn't have to take it apart. Not broken. Don't take it apart. So I'm going to be undoing all this. Oh, that just slides off. And then you unscrew this. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I don't know. It was already, uh oh, it was already in. Well, don't do this, no, because you're in your brakes. There we go. Uh, I was going the wrong way here, people. Dirty spring, and because I'm the type of person that likes to clean up the parts before I put the new ones on, I'm gonna quickly just brush these all off. A wire brush on the drill. Doesn't have to be all fancy. They are just gonna get full break dust again. So that's no big deal. Just give it a quick little clean up. Uh, 
I got a pretty bad habit of just doing this because you're doing your brakes, you can as well keep it Everything's moving freely. Not like you didn't put it all back together kind of freely, but freely, you know what I'm talking about. Alright guys. So um slider in. Doesn't really matter. Oh, and I forgot to mention. When you put everything back together, this fork, make sure it's always facing up, not down. I learned that. And I'll even show you guys, there's a couple uh, tabs, like this tab right here. You got a couple pieces that it's supposed to go into, like when, as it's sitting there and stuff. Oh, wrong way. Oop. While well, it's all sitting together, it is supposed to be sitting there. Like such, in a way, so that it's, this, don't mind the spring, it's not supposed to be there. Well, right there right now. I'm only doing this just to show you guys, or I prefer to show you guys. So when it's all sitting there like that, it's sitting underneath there, and then when you usually dial in your spring, that's what it clicks on, when you usually dial in your drums, click, 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 you know? But like I said, it's not put together yet. I'll show you guys when I put it all together. So, but again, that's just that part. This always faces up, and that will be facing into the part of this piece, this square piece right here. That's time for the fun part. <laughs> okay. Springs. New springs. Springs, springs, springs. Do, 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 do. Like that. Go like this. Oh, I'll flip you upside down. Alright. So, I'm going to try and keep my hands free. Show you guys as much as possible. Uh, Probably won't, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes, okay? Don't blame me if you guys can't see anything. I'm kidding. Blame me all you want. That's why I'm making a YouTube video so I can show you guys things. So if you guys can't see it, what's going to be putting on YouTube, right? We'll see if you guys can see that, okay? Alright. So that's your bottom spring for the bottom to connect it to. Break to the bottom. Again, they gave me a new clamp or pin. And since I still have two right here, and I got two there, I'm just going to throw these two back in the box. Nothing, nothing's wrong with doing that. Okay, so since this is the outside shoe with the e-brake mechanism and all that spring and everything, this is the hard part, because I don't like doing it. Um, I guess I'm going to show you guys as much as I can, however I can. Just did it on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Bear with me. Okay, so that spring is in. You can pull on it, it is just a spring. This is what your mechanism would pretty much look like. It's not completely like there, like adjusted yet. It's not even completely assembled. But like I said, you guys, you can see the piece of the fork. It slides in there. It's in there. And this is still facing up. Now, the actual hard part is getting, and this is some reason why people actually probably take off this piece so they don't have to fight with this, but I found an easier way to do it. So you just twist it. Slide your piece up there. Twist it. I can't remember how exactly I did it, but I did do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Probably not the most professional way to do it, but I did do it. Again, I am not no pro, so I don't care. So, again, it's actually all in. Just wanna make sure that Spring, let's make clear that. Alright. Okay. 
So, as you can see, this is all just going to go and slide up here. You can leave that side free. So now what people do actually, just so they don't have to keep doing that, is those two pins that we took out first, we're going to actually put back in first. Like, oh, not really put in first because we did a whole bunch of other stuff first, but you know what I mean. You put it on so you don't have to sit here and fight with your damn brakes just because you got to put it back in. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. And don't get me wrong, this is another reason why I hate doing drums. I put so much pressure into doing this job. So much body weight. And don't get me wrong, I have put this clamp on. This huge little clamp. No, I'm not going to forget. Because I'm going to do it right now. And the reason why you got your screwdriver, can't do it by hand, do it by screwdriver. Alright, so that's on. Uh, let's grab the other brake shoe, see if you guys can see this. So, uh, I got my spring right here, I'm going to attach it to the other side of the bottom of the brake shoe, so that it creates it like an inward spring. And again, make sure that is always facing inward back you don't have so what I mean by that here I'll show quickly show you guys it's always like this and not like this so it's like you're using it like a hook if that makes sense and then for this fun part again the pin So I don't know if it makes it easy for you guys, but I like to try and obviously keep them as straight as possible. Before I go and grab all my tools. These things kind of suck and I hate them. But I gotta do it. I'm pretty sure everybody else that does drums, they're probably saying the same thing. But look at that. It's actually pretty easy, surprisingly. I guess when everything's new, it's a lot easier. So that's actually all in. I actually gotta take that out up there. Okay, that's actually all up and in place now. Here's the hard part. You gotta get this this uh, spring. Oh, here. You gotta get that spring. Not in that hole but in that hole, so. Ah, look at that, that oh, took forever. But, that's all it takes. Everything's put back together, and my brick job is done. Bam! Brick job done. Now that that's done, I'm hoping that my drums be dry. So I smashed a little bit of paint on them. I did paint these old ones orange. I don't know. I just wanted to have a little fun. But since I got new ones, what's the point in putting them on and watching them get rusted? So, just threw some. Where are we? Right here. Oh, I'm kind of glad those are dry. You know, that VHT caliper paint. And I'll quickly slide those on. Take a picture. Take a picture. Show you guys what those look like. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So, that being said, that's what that looks like. That's that side. Let's get to this side. Yeah, I know, I said I had no brake cleaner. Can's empty. You see it. It's empty. That's actually pretty nice red. 
Okay, guys, so trivia's all done, down on the ground, on, on all fours. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna quickly go and uh, just pull it down my driveway without trying to touch the brakes, I guess, because I know that I need to go in reverse to self adjust the rear drums. I'm gonna do that, and I think I'm gonna end the video here. So I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing some exhaust work on this soon. And then I gotta go and work on my Mazda speed, so that's actually why I'm trying to get focused on this thing. Like I said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for all the next upcoming videos.